I've looked at the numbers recently, guys, and there's just not enough electric car chargers right now. And the problem is that so many people live in apartment blocks. Does that mean that EVs won't work? Actually, no, it doesn't. There's a brilliant solution being rolled out here in Australia, not just in Australia, though. This is coming to many countries worldwide. In fact, there's a lot of these charges in Germany. So a lot of people think, well, there's a problem. It won't work. But there is always a solution. And this is the solution to so many people living in apartment blocks where they may not have a charger to access overnight. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. IntelliHub has rolled out 50 power pole chargers for EV owners with no garage. So here in Australia, this has been happening now in numerous different suburbs around Australia. Power poles are getting chargers put on the power pole. So if you park on the street, there's a lot of people, even where I'm living in here, it's uh, the suburb that I'm here in Australia, it's, you'd think people would have, uh, you know, a lot of driveways, but they don't because they often will have a house at the back of their property. So people just park on the street, meaning it's harder for them to charge their cars at nighttime. This is a solution. It's not just for Australia. It's been rolled out in numerous countries. The first of 50 power pole mounted electric vehicle chargers has been rolled out across Sydney and the Hunter regions of New South Wales, right here where I'm living by now, by utility services company IntelliHub. This is a fast charger, by the way, guys. This is not some slow charger. This is 22 kilowatt pole mounted EV charger. So 22 kilowatt is the fastest AC charging speed that you can get. And that means you can charge the average electric car in probably around about four hours. Pretty quick for home charging. So even if you've got a couple of cars, you could still basically probably charge both of your cars overnight, maybe even two or three cars overnight on this speed of charger. How are they doing this? Well, funding, some of the funding is coming from the Australian Renewable Energy Agency. Some of it's coming from the private company that's actually building it out. And similar charges apparently are going to be rolled out in the United States as well. They'll be installed on wooden power poles and remove the need for expensive roadworks and infrastructure upgrades. And I know you're thinking, well, not everywhere has wooden power poles. In my city or some cities, there are no power poles. That's true. However, in those places, you actually can see charges being installed on the gutters on the road. There's quite a lot of them in different European countries now where they just install the charging point on the actual side of the sidewalk, which is amazing. Anyway, these 50 pole mounted EV chargers will be installed across eight New South Wales local government areas with the first chargers already live in Lane Cove and St. Leonard's in Sydney's north and Maribra Coogee and North Bondi in Sydney's east. Australia EV sales as a percentage of EV car sales are only about seven to eight percent. So you can see why there isn't more of these. There would be more if more people bought EVs. Melbourne, we're really relying on you guys here to start, you know, putting your money where your mouth is. When I say that, I mean, there are lots of affordable EVs right now on the market, but Melbourne, unfortunately, Victoria is lagging behind other states when it comes to EV adoption. That could be the EV tax. Guys, the EV tax has been canceled. Don't let that stop you from buying an electric car. EV tax has been canceled. The High Court in Australia said it was illegal for uh, Daniel Andrews uh, to put in this tax, and he knew it was illegal, but did it anyway. It's been repealed. And so that means that more and more buyers will buy EVs. The more EVs we buy here, the more these charges will be installed. You gotta remember that for companies to have the confidence to install these kinds of charges along your street, more people need to buy EVs. So tell your friends, let your friends know this is something that can happen once we start adopting more EVs. And tell your friends there's a really cheap EVs they can buy now. There's three different models that cost less than 40,000 Australian dollars. Getting back to this story, IntelliHub will now move on to installing the remaining 41 EV chargers in local streets across Sydney, St. George, eastern suburbs and northern beaches regions, as well as Lake Macquarie and Singleton regions in the Hunter Valley. All 50 chargers are expected to be online by the end of the year. And Federal Minister for Climate Change and Energy, Chris Bowen, was on hand to actually basically reveal these charges. Around 9% of Australians are now using electric cars. And in some areas of Sydney, the rate of EV adoption are double the national average, said the CEO of IntelliHub. So IntelliHub's gone, okay, guys, what suburbs are people buying the most EVs? That's where they've gone and installed these charges. Now, basically, private companies said, you know what? 
which suburbs are people buying more EVs? That's where we're going to install these because that's where we can be confident that the investment is worth our time. So it really does prove my point here, which is if you live in an area where more people adopt EVs, charging companies have the confidence to build these kinds of services out. By 2030, the company said, most experts expect there will be more than 1 million electric vehicles on Australian roads. Power pole lines in most streets, that presents a huge opportunity for local communities that will need a range of public charging solutions. They're an accessible, safe and practical option for EV charging. So there is a solution. It looks like this company wants to roll these street power pole chargers out all across Australia, which is really cool news. The 22 kilowatt EV chargers are supplied by French company Schneider Electric and are managed using the popular Explorin program, which was developed by Australian EV software and hardware provider EVSE. It supports 500 public chargers across Sydney alone. Origin Energy will provide 100% accredited green power for these chargers. So when you plug into these, you're not using coal, you're using purely renewable energy. And IntelliHub says that a two hour charging session with one of these chargers is enough to give your EV approximately 200 kilometers of range, depending on you know what EV you have. I love this stuff. And I think we're gonna see this in so many countries around the world over the next 10 years, as EVs become more and more popular, more companies will install these. But like I said, I've seen numerous images and videos of them in many different European countries as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.